Hi guys, and welcome back to another kind of let's tour of one of my older medieval worlds just to see what's kind of changed and get some ideas. And you can see behind me one absolutely massive ship. And it seems that my skin is slightly invisible with this weird new uh, preview of the shader pack, which is Zeus. I've got the 10.1 preview, so there is quite a bit of bugs in it, as you can see, uh, by actually being able to see through me. Um, so I'm just going to be basically flying around and talking to you guys about kind of what is in here and all that kind of stuff um, so yeah let's let's go and explore, we'll explore the ship probably later I think it's pretty massive, it's one of my earlier ships as well um, so what I'm going to do quickly, I'll, I'll just turn to the main daytime, there we go it's a bit laggy, uh, we've got a couple of ships, these aren't actually mine I think this one, this one's definitely a tutorial one uh, this one wasn't mine at all, uh, this one here is actually mine uh, this is one of my earlier ships. You can see the sails just aren't that good. The masts are way too small, uh, and there's no rigging at all. Uh, but we'll just check out this kind of smaller one first. It's got a couple of guns on the side as well, and I'm getting really major lag at the minute, which is kind of expected from this world because it was converted from a mod pack world. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit laggy, but if you just bear with me on that. So look at the captain. Yeah, captain's cabin's pretty big as well. Uh, so like, it's quite interesting. It's not really uh, what I actually build these days. It's just too boxy at the back. See down here, it's very, it's quite simple. Um, so it's just kind of showing you guys like an earlier version of one of my ships. Uh, oh, we've got another one. This is another tutorial kind of ship that I was doing uh, that I've actually done um, just to learn how to build ships. And this one's quite cool. I quite like it. Again, it's quite small, uh, but it does look quite cool. And I think this one again, yeah, this is another one that was a tutorial ship, which I'm not that keen on. And another one here, this one's quite cool as well, it's got a bigger kind of set of sails. So where should we start with this magic board? You can see all these kind of cave entrance type things. Uh, that's because there was kind of an under city underneath this kind of massive cliff. Um, if we just fly through this kind of city, it's kind of an earlier style. So this here, right here we've got this kind of warehouse, it's kind of very simple design. Um, we've just got this kind of steps going up here, and then you've got these two main kind of warehouse type bits in here. The interior isn't finished at all. Um, it's quite simple, so you've just got those there, and then you've probably got you know, offices or even more storage room in here. So that's pretty simple. Got this kind of watchtower type thing. Um, I'm not that keen on it at all. Actually, I hate it. Um, so I'm not really going to show you guys that much. You can see this, this is the kind of main part of the city, so I'm just going to let this load a little bit. There we go. So we've got kind of a lot of buildings, but all of the roof styles are exactly the same, the actual colours. Uh, I didn't mix and match, which I'll start to do now a lot. I'm just going to change it again to the midday, because you get the most light out of this. Uh, so let's just check out this one here. Um, let's check out this one. This one, uh, I can't remember what this was. Was it a brewery or something like that? I think I was building. I did um, Ackling a Phrase tutorial on a, on a kind of brewery, and I, I took that kind of ideas from it to make my own brewery, which is this one. Uh, so it's quite interesting, there's nothing really inside. I don't know if I've done any interiors on this, I can't really remember. Um, it's quite a simple design, uh, quite a nice roof actually. I quite like this going down here and then having the window as well. So I might steal that and uh, put it on my other welds. Uh, that's quite nice actually, yeah, it's not too bad. Nice little window there. Uh, you've got this kind of balcony here as well, that's quite cool. And Oh, I can actually jump up. There we go. So that's not too bad. Uh, what else have I got? Let's have a look at one of these houses. This is the kind of town square type thing. Oh, I've got this really ugly... I don't know what that is. Uh, but this used to have portals and stuff in it with dimensional doors. Uh, which went to other parts of this world, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Uh, not the dimensional doors, because I'm actually missing that mod. I'm in vanilla. Uh, but the actual other towns I have to fly to manually, but I know where they are. Uh, so these were kind of like a cool, simple design that I just had eight of these houses, I just copied and pasted them around here. Um, yeah, they're quite cool, they kind of step up and they've got these cool windows that go up and on this bigger window. Um, I don't think there's any, no, there's still an interior, so they're pretty big. Uh, even the top four where it gets smaller, but it does get progressively smaller as you go up, as you can see, which is quite cool. Um, so we've got that, let's just fly over here. This, I think, was planning on being some sort of tavern or something like that. Again, I never got really around to it, but it does have this really cool steps, which are just on each of these sides here, you can just go up 
then you go onto this main kind of bit here, and then it kind of works away again. So I actually kind of, I probably use that again. That looks really cool, and then you can literally just keep on going up, and then come to the middle, and then they would have been on the sides, but they're obviously not. We've just got this kind of step coming up here to the balcony, which has this kind of kind of quite nice kind of view. I'm just going to punch through this, take that, and then uh, do I have to fly up, put that down. Um, so it's got quite a nice couple of things here. Um, the cathedral. Uh, this is one I was working on, which on the Dakar Ages trailer. Um, I've actually got a more up-to-date one. This is the kind of early version of it. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys the early version. The windows, because uh, I had mod glass, like modded glass, a bit different. But you can see completely, completely changed on the inside. Uh, there's absolutely nothing really. Um, I am planning on doing a cathedral at some point and actually doing it from scratch, um, because I've got I've kind of learned a lot about about doing it from doing like this one especially. Well, not even finishing this one, but you know, doing the main kind of part of this one. So yeah, um, of course, this kind of theatre uh, is kind of based on the globe, but it's completely circular. Globe is actually an octagon, um, but I went for a completely circular one for this, which the roof was a nightmare. So that's really cool. I'm probably going to build another one of these or some sort of arena type thing. I'll probably have uh, whenever I get around to the capital. I'll probably have a big theatre, something like this a bit nicer and more up to date with the kind of styles that I've kind of come up with. Um, and also an arena, I'm definitely going to be building an arena. Um, so I'm just going to just again switch it today, I'll have to keep on doing that throughout this video. And I need to pick another house I think. Oh that's quite cool, I quite like this one actually. I quite like how the, work, like, uh, the roof's figured out. Maybe this way out. Um, pretty small house though. Um, but no, that's quite cool. So there is some quite cool uh, kind of roof designs. This one's quite good as well. So it goes up and then goes over. It has this kind of dome. That's quite nice. I would have put a window there now. And with my new styles. Uh, what else is there? That one's a bit weird. This is weird. This two towered house. That's a bit odd. Um, <laughs> but this was a mess around world. So you can see the flower boxes coming out. Rather than now my new styles that kind of in because I've pushed that block back. Let's look in here, that's quite interesting. So you got these two oh these towers are quite big. Interesting. And then you got this back room here. Yeah, that's alright. That's not too bad. I do have this building here which is kind of different. Uh, which has got this kind of central tower and it's got these two things here with balconies. That's that's quite nice, I think. Especially this kind of centre room here where you've got this big uh, I've just got my pointer here, there you go, you've got this big kind of circle on top of this square bit here. Then it goes up and does a tower. I quite like that. Um, so I'm just going to fly over here because there is a really cool build um, which unfortunately is missing stuff because of the mod packs um, but this is the palace that I've actually built um, and there will be a tutorial for this at some point obviously with an actual roof on it. Um, as you can see you can see the kind of torches that there were because they're actually missing. Um, there was this nice kind of palace. Um, I have actually got a version of it with the roof now um, so I've actually fixed that on another version for ready for whenever I get around to a tutorial. Uh, but there is these flying, everything's really actually. Uh, but there is a, that's quite a nice kind of palace and also this kind of nice garden. Um, so yeah, let's just keep on flying over. There's quite a lot to see on this little town. Um, so much so that I'll probably do a different video for the other other place. I think um, that's kind of a weird lake. It's a bit too square though, you can see weird you know, like leaves and stuff are missing, but because I was building on this kind of grid pattern, which all of my newer builds, I don't even bother with this grid pattern. Um, I might do a bit for the capital in the Dakar Ages at some point, but that will literally be for like a main road, or a couple of the main roads will be square, and then actually what's in the actual square, the square will be like massive, so you can actually work away with some roads. Yeah, this that's why this kind of lake looks a bit square. It looks like it's been forced into this place, which I don't like. It's not that natural, but there is kind of like this cool smaller like pond here, and then it goes down into a waterfall. And you got this whole river here. I think there is actually a little yes. Yeah, so there's a couple of like streams and stuff that go into this place. That's that's a bit different. That's quite nice. I quite like it, um, except for this part. <laughs> Some ideas. Um, this I was going to build some uh, jousting area because I hardly ever see that and I couldn't figure it out. I was trying to fit it into these grids and it was too small. 
and this was actually before we had horses because I heard that there was going to be a horse update so I was like, oh, I've got to build one of those so I've actually built that kind of, uh, but it's too cramped uh, if we go into one of these stands if I can actually get in, I'm just going to break that, there we go if we go into one of these stands, if we go up to here you can't really see down enough and that sucks so I, I kind of learnt a lot of little bits from it I'll probably do one again later, but I'll kind of re com completely redo it and make it bigger. <laughs> That's the main thing to do, make it bigger. Um, so, this building is quite cool as well. I quite like this one. It's got these kind of circular bits at the front, and there's cool kind of steps going up. I quite like this. So, these steps going up here, and also this garden looks pretty awesome. I like this. It's got these kind of small steps to go over onto these kind of circles, which have got water coming out here. I quite like it. There's this weird shed thing here. I don't know what the hell I was thinking with that. I'm not too keen on it, but the rest of the build is pretty nice. I mean, it's quite simple as well. Um, so then we've got these kind of steps going up onto the higher kind of level, uh, where the rich people were going to be. I never really got around to finishing this this area at all, as you can see. Um, but there is some kind of bigger houses, and they're all exactly the same style. Um, even though they've got these kind of random bits, this one is really random. Uh, it's got like random annexes and random rooms just coming off the sides of it and a bit weird roofs and things like that, but it's not too bad. Uh, my kind of favourite bit is actually how you get up to this part here. Because uh, there's a lot of like stairs and stuff to go up. Uh, so you can actually go up this kind of path and go up all the way here and you've got kind of a little bit of styling there. And it overlooks, I believe it overlooks the, uh, yeah, it does overlook the kind of docks as well. So you can actually see over these docks. Uh, and there's a little house here. And then you've got this tower, which I've actually recreated in the Dakar Ages. Uh, so I've actually taken that pretty much straight from it. I've just made it a lot better. This is the kind of simpler version of it, the older version. Um, and then there's these kind of steps that go up the back of this kind of place here. And I was going to build some sort of weird free towered castle and I failed miserably which is why I just stopped building it I think there's some more houses down there something like that um, but yeah there's not really too much to it there's a lot of pathing in this um, which I was just kind of working out to try and put in some builds I've got these kind of nice tunnel going through which is huge, it's absolutely massive so I think that's pretty much it. Um, we'll just have a look at the actual ship, the big one, um, and that will be it for the kind of this kind of small, small kind of short tour of an older world over here. The actual inside of the mountain, there's absolutely nothing. It's completely dark, so I won't bother with that. This was my kind of one of my first ships, my early ships. Well, not really my first, and I'm really not happy with it at the minute, or not really ever been happy with it. It's got this weird kind of front. It just keeps on going out forever, which I don't like. It's not like a real ship, but it is huge. So it's kind of tiered bits. Sails look like crap. Um, it's done so many better sails. You've got this kind of big area doing down there. Uh, if I just go in the cabin, this is pretty massive. I'll just switch off shaders. So now you guys can actually see it kind of properly without the lighting being a bit weird because inside the shade is so a bit weird. So we've got this massive room and all of it is just huge. It's just a bit too big. It's not really realistic in any sense. It's probably like twice the size of any ship that's or sailing ship that's ever sailed. And also the bottom is rubbish. It, yeah, it's just not good. At least I've got a, a rudder on it, kind of, but it's yeah. <laughs> It's one of my earlier ships though, so I can't really be too harsh on myself with it. Um, and as, as well as, you know, having this big cabin here, and you got some more steps, and you've got another slightly smaller cabin in here, uh, which was going to be the, the captain's cabin, I think. And that's got these weird little office rooms on each side. I don't know why I did that. No idea. Um, but it's quite interesting, at least. A bit different. Um, and I don't think there's anything really on the inside. I've just got these massive steps going down. I think they literally just go down forever. Like these are this is the back cabin. Bloody massive, They're huge, too big, too big. Um, behind these walls, I did have uh, a mod pack, so I actually had uh, these cannons. I can't remember what it's called. It's one of the weapons mod pack. Uh, type things. I did have like a wireless redstone thing and I had these gunpowder with the cannonballs. 
So I actually did fire cannonballs um, and I had that kind of on a repeater thing. I actually destroyed some ships here which you can see the kind of indent of them where they used to be. But I actually did test those and fire those cannons which was cool. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it for this kind of quick kind of look at everything. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this kind of look at my older builds. If you have make sure you comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.